see Joel Parkinson on a good looking wall here. Joel driving off the bottom. It's finals day here in Fiji. As you join us now in semi-final number two, Connor O'Leary. The Kufi Foda takes on former world champion Joel Parkinson, who is finding some nice form here and climbing the Jeep leaderboard very nicely himself. Matchup and uh, Joel Parkinson. We talk about Joel as having the experience, not quite having one of those stellar heats yet here, and came off that last wave in quarterfinal and started looking pretty sharp. So Joel Parkinson out of the blocks firing on his opening wave. There's that classic style that we've come to love from Joel Parkinson, former world champion. And, well, finds himself out of the old school, guys, still there as the smoke clears. Conor O'Leary, solid wave and just losing the fins right there. Just for his you know, shoot up the ladder as well as his confidence. I've been impressed with this kid surfing all year. Well, Joel has been surfing to the conditions that each heat has offered as he'll go into the tube stance here. Just holds it steady, pumps the rail, and wow. no, I think he covered a little bit of distance there. Got multiple camera angles for you here in Fiji. The qualifying series go on to the following year's championship tour. And here we see O'Leary now. Clear intention that he wants to be behind the curtain. Now he speeds it up, we weaving. And he'll doggy door it, so good read on the current conditions offered here in semi-final number two. At the end, very difficult thing to do here. Total commitment from Conor O'Leary sliding down the face of the wave. Now he starts to drive through that section, disappears again and just sneaks out the end. I mean, timing is so important with those kind of uh, exits. You can see dragging both the hands down the face of the wave. Now he starts to hit the gas, driving through that section and then just a little bit of a gap right there. To me, I thought you might have been a little short-changed in that one. It was a long barrel, bit of smaller wave, bit of stalling at the start. How do you feel about that? Um, yeah, to me too. I thought it was maybe like a, a, a high six, maybe, you know, like it felt great on the wave. And and I don't know, like I, I can't really say anything till I see his waves and see the replays and stuff. But Yeah, well, it's that uh, part of the reef that Luke Egan's kind of got Connor sitting on right down the end here. Look at this wave as he drives through that barrel there and <laughs> comes flying out. So on that occasion, the, it let him out the traditional way. So didn't have to fight his way through the inside and a couple of big turns at the end. So Connor O'Leary's starting to find his feet, starting to find his groove, and he is picking these absolute slingshots, driving through up and over the foam ball, came out nice and clean, and then just laid the rail down. So Connor O'Leary, an 8.0 to back up that 7.4. Lots of topics to talk about here in cloud break in Fiji. So we'll continue with the action here. Parco will just hold that trim line. Now starts racing down the line, goes into the tube crouch. Hasn't quite covered him yet, so high up on the reef and not really getting a reward. An eight-point ride, but it was Parco to get things moving. Yeah, Joel Parkinson out of the blocks firing with a 6.83. Things were looking good for Parco. Clean, stylish surfing from the veteran on tour, former world champion, trying to find his way to the final here in Fiji. Then it's kind of gone sleepy since that wave for Joel Parkinson. Why? Because this kid is just being on fire. Beautiful positioning here for Connor Larry driving and then somehow found his way out of that one. Dropping a 7.40 and getting himself up into the lead and then backed it up on the way back out with this little gem here. Opting to sit on the inside and pick off these beautiful hollow waves. 8.0 on this occasion, finds himself in the lead. Pressure now on Joel Parkinson looking for an 8.57. Well. See Joel just having a look down the line, but it is priority to Connor O'Leary, and he'll uh, get moving for us here. Kicks the tail out, just drifts the fins, now loads the rail again for a nice wrap in the top section. Around the corner now, this wave has got a few buckles on it. That wind that Strider was talking about possibly affecting it, but not dampening Connor on the inside section here as he finds a nice set of maneuvers all stitched together beautifully. Wow. So lovely rail work, seamless. Connor O'Leary continues to apply the pressure here. Now, out the back, Parco will get it moving. Big, heavy wave, and that one is going to shut down. The lead Parco still up the reef a little bit. 
Connor O'Leary. 6.93. Yes, yes, it's a beautiful ride, but obviously not changing the situation. You can see how low and deliberate he gets through those bottom turns, which allows him to uncoil at the top of the wave. A little stumble there and, and some beautiful turns, but that was the set that Parco needed. There, as you said, there were so many waves after the one Parco went that were absolutely beautiful, barreling along. Semi-final number two counts down. And that man on screen from Cronulla, Australia, is through to Potts. You're going to hate me for this. An all goofy foot final. The record books continue with their steady showcasing of goofy footers here at Cloudbreak.